Good morning! It's not actually morning, it's 10 o'clock at night, but I took a very nice nap and I am just very chilled out and relaxed and just ready to play a little bit of some Black Ops. Also, I didn't make my bed. Sorry, I wasn't feeling it. I just woke up, rolled over, and was like, you know what? I need to record a video, so let's do that. Also, I'm looking super duper smart today because I'm wearing my glasses because I don't know, I'm still very sleepy and I'm having trouble seeing the screen that's right smack dab in front of me. <laughs> Go get your care package. Go get your care package. <laughs> it is mine. Look at me go, my speed demon. With my little RC car. <laughs> Whoa, here we go. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Boom. That's so not satisfying at all. I don't know why people enjoy RC cars so much. But anyways. Hey y'all, it's Butters. And today I thought I would tell a story. That happened to me over the weekend. I saved a dog. Yes, I saved a poor little innocent puppy dog. Why do I have a blackbird? Oh my gosh. That's it's the very end of the game. What is happening? First game on and I got a blackbird. What in the world just happened? Me. Well, good morning to me. So before I get into the story, I must tell you guys that I am a huge, huge fan of basset hounds. I don't know what it is about basset hounds. They're just so cute and short and just squishy and long-eared and just, oh my god, I love basset hounds way too much. <laughs> Since I go to college about four hours away from my hometown, I was driving home over the weekend to go to my hometown to attend a basset hound convention. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, I had the best time ever. I love seeing all the squishy little faces. You're so cute. <laughs> there were probably about 150 basset hounds there and they had like courses and stuff set up for them, a costume contest, a, a homecoming king and queen competition. It was so freaking cute. Another blackbird. My second game on. I got a blackbird again. What is happening today? Nobody even got 10 kills? Okay. I should take more naps often before I record. This is awesome. Or maybe it's the glasses. I don't know. So anyways, I was on the highway and this highway is extremely deserted because it's, ooh, because it's in the middle of nowhere. There's nobody who lives around here. It's just a long stretch of just nothing. So I was driving down this road and I saw in the distance, I don't know how I, I just, I thought it was hallucinating, but I saw a basset hound just chill, just chilling in the middle of the road. And this is a highway. Like that's, that's kind of scary for a dog. Like you don't just go into a, a road and just sit there and be like, hello, hi. I honestly thought I was hallucinating because it was a basset hound. I saw a basset hound. I was like, wait a second. What? So I start putting on the brakes and my boyfriend next to me is like, well, what's wrong? What's happening? And all I could say was just, dog, dog. <laughs> when I started pulling over, naturally the dog started freaking out a little bit and started to kind of run around, which I was getting really scared about because there were a couple of cars out on the highway. Also, I had to pull over to the left side and there was like a concrete wall there and no shoulder lane. So basically my car was straddling like the very tiny, like tiny lane next to the concrete wall and then the actual left hand lane. So my car was just straddling halfway in between those. It was really scary, but it was all to save a poor little puppy dog. So I pulled over to help the dog out and it was horrific because the dog started getting really scared, hunkered down low and started running around in the middle of the highway, which was just, oh my gosh, so scary. Are you serious? Are you? Oh my God, this is not, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. What? What? Okay. Oh, there we go. All right, I got him. It's okay. It's all good. I got him. He looks so done. He looks like he's getting tickled in his neck. Look at him. <laughs> so my boyfriend and I got out of the car and we tried to coax the dog back into our direction so that she wouldn't get run over. The dog hunkered down and started coming our way, which I was really thankful for. And I managed to grab her collar, which actually was a kid's belt. Yeah, this poor dog's collar was a kid's belt. It made me feel so terrible. My boyfriend Kyle then helped coax the dog into my car. Once we got her in the car, she was a sweet, cute, and innocent little thing. She just sat there smack dab in the middle of the scene, just looked straight forward, and was just the cutest little thing. She was so cute. It made me so sad that she almost got killed. The pup did perfectly fine in the car ride. I took her home. I called my mom and dad. I was like, hey, uh, I'm bringing home another dog. <laughs> what? Clitoral? What in the world? My mama taught me since day one that you should always, always be kind to animals. If you see an animal that's in trouble, you need to help them. That's just how it is. She said, even though we might not be able to keep them, we can definitely find them a good home and give them a better life. So when I was on the phone with her, she 
just told me over and over, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, Hannah. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you. And it made me feel so good and happy. It warmed my little heart. Oh, mama. I ended up getting the Bass and Hound home safe and sound. And the reaction that my mom had was exactly what I expected. The first thing she did, the very first thing, was when I walked through the door with this Bass and Hound, she greeted the Bass and Hound with a bowl of food, a bowl of water, and a bone to chew. It was so cute. I walk into my house, my mom's just walking in with just a bowl of food and a bowl of water and just, she's like this, she's smiling, she walks up to the best house, like, here you go. It was so cute. My mother cracks me up when it comes to animals, I swear. We examined the Basset Hound right when we got home and we figured out that she has some major fleas. Major, major, major fleas. So we gave her a really warm bath. And she seemed to be a pretty happy Basset Hound. <laughs> I'll scrub a dub dub in the tub. I ended up taking care of the Basset Hound for the night so that she wouldn't feel lonely or anything. And the next morning, we ended up taking her to the vet and dropping her off so that we can go to the Basset Hound convention. Normally, we would keep her at home with our dogs, but she had fleas and we didn't want to have an outbreak. While I was at the Basset Hound convention, the one thing that I kept hearing over and over and over again was, Hey, hey, aren't you, aren't you Lisa's daughter? I heard about what you did. You're the one who saved the Basset Guys, guys, this is the girl who saved the Basset Hound over the weekend. I'm just like... That's me. <laughs> and that's pretty much my story. So remember, friends, be kind to animals. Why do you always camp? Why? Why, 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 why? Nymptown. Nope.